Well, one man in Pleasant Hill is exposed to the harsh win winter weather of Western Oregon after several trees crashed through his roof. Now you may remember, you may remember Staten Bosisto from our previous stories. Back in 2021, a fugitive broke into his home, killed his wife and shot him in the head. And that fugitive, Andrew Geronimi, is now in prison serving a life sentence for the crimes. But now Bosisto's home has taken another hit, this time by several trees, as you can see here. He says it will take weeks to recover from this. As KEZI 9 News reporter Jennifer Singh shows us, Bosisto believes there's a reason behind those fallen trees. A beautiful, awesome forest that towered over the top of you. It actually blocked the sun in the winter time where you saw sun everywhere else, but not here. I mean, I was, in, I was basically in a, a big square sea of trees. That's how Staten Bozisto described the area beyond his property lines just months ago until the land was sold and the clear cutting started all without warning. Then no one talked to me once. No one said one thing. I just got to look at uh, log trucks down on our front driveway, destroying our front entrance, throwing debris and stuff onto the road. Um, all the people driving back and forth on the whole east side is getting pelted with rocks and mud and everything else because they don't really care. Staten Bozisto tells me the logging company came in at the end of November and it only took about a month for hundreds of trees to be cut down, leaving the remaining trees exposed to the harsh winter elements. I've had a lot of storms up here over the last couple of years and snow and everything and never one tree or anything fall. Up until last night when several trees on the other side of his property line uprooted, crashing straight through his roof, causing extensive damage to his two year old son's nursery. Luckily, his son wasn't in the room at the time. There's further damage throughout the house. That's three trees. And it's in a cluster that is an entire root wall that's not even on my property that is now on my property. He tells me he and his neighbors have been making calls trying to figure out who is responsible for tearing down the trees. He thinks it's likely the reason remaining trees are falling, but they've had no luck. We've got water saturation now in here and everything else because nothing's able to keep the water kind of at bay. It's just coming down the side of this hill. And clearly, like you have a house and a residence with trees that could potentially hit it. You maybe should have just at least acknowledged them or something or at least even introduced yourself. Don't know who these people are. On the neighboring property, there are unmarked logging equipment as well as a trailer I'm told someone lives in to keep watch. But no one was there when I went up to the door. I reached out to Oregon Department of Agriculture to see if I could get some more information about what the rules and regulations of clear cutting in the area are, and I'm waiting to hear back. As for Bozisto, he says he's grateful he and his son are safe, but with everything his family has gone through, he just wants some answers. And now I don't feel safe because I almost just now again had something pretty tragic happen and possibly take my son's life and or my life right where I was sleeping. In Pleasant Hill, Jennifer Singh, KEZI 9 News.